felt completely overwhelmed by portrait photography, or just at a loss of what to focus on to take you to that next level, then come hang with me. I help guide portrait photographers just like you to stay clear and sharp in camera and with your goals. I'm your host, photographer, educator, and weirdly positive mama for Emily Supio. And this is the Stay Focused Podcast. Photography advice to help you stay focused. Well, hey there, photographers. It's Emily, and thank you for pressing play on today's episode of the Stay Focused Podcast. Now, if you are a photographer that right now has been thinking to yourself, should I raise my prices or are my prices right? Or maybe even should I lower my prices because nobody is contacting me, nobody is getting a hold of me, then this episode is totally for you because you guessed it, we are talking about pricing on today's show. But before we dive right into that, if you've been listening to the show for a while, or even if it's your first time listening, I always, always, always love your feedback. So if you would take a second and head over to iTunes, leave a rating and review for the show. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you would like to hear more of. I love to connect with you as much as I can. You can also send me a DM over on Instagram. My handle over there is at Cozy Clicks. Or take a screenshot of uh, the episode you're listening to, this episode, and share it on your stories. Make sure to tag me over there too, so I can see the episodes that you like and see what resonates with you, what you would like to hear more of. I really, really do love to connect with you on a little bit deeper level because I know it's a little bit of a one-way street when it comes to this podcast, right? We're not, you're not sitting right in front of me talking to me, so any way that we connect. I really, really love that. Now, when we talk about pricing today, I want to start by saying, I want to start by being completely honest and transparent with all of you that when I first started my portrait photography business, I wasn't charging premium prices. I wasn't charging, you know, $1,000, $2,000, $4,000 for a session. I started my portrait photography business charging $50 a session. And I picked that number not because I was looking at what all, the, all of the other photographers were charging in my area um, and then picking a price that I thought was appropriate. I did not pick $50, definitely did not pick $50 because I was adding up all my expenses and then figuring out what would make me a profit. I definitely did that. The reason I picked $50 at first was because I just thought that was my belief that that was an appropriate price for a new photographer. And that was it. I wanted to price myself low enough where I would get clients and people would reach out to me and want me to book with them because I was excited to shoot other people. I was excited to shoot clients. I was excited to get my business up and running and because I was starting to tell people I was starting a business. So I didn't want to feel like a failure. Like I wasn't getting clients if nobody was contacting me. So I think it, all of those things were kind of going through my mind when I picked a price, but $50 seemed like a good price. And from what I've seen from my um, photography coaching students, my business students, what I've seen <clears throat> with photographers on social media, what I've seen with the ph photographers that I work with in my own town and throughout the years is that a starting price a lot of photographers pick is somewhere between that $50 and $150 range. That, for whatever reason, seems to be that magic number. And maybe you're even shaking your head going right now going, yeah, I'm right in that range right now too. Or yeah, that's kind of where I started. Well, I want to start there in today's episode and then kind of work our way through pricing and figure out if you are charging the right price or if it's time for you to increase those prices. If you are looking for some more individualized help with your pricing, or if you would just like to know how to grow your photography business, then I would love to help you out. You can register today for my free online business class by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash 
business class. This online class is about 40 minutes long and on demand, so you can watch at the most convenient time for you. Again, you can sign up for this free class by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash business class. You can also click the direct link wherever you're listening to this podcast right now in the description. Okay. So when we talk pricing today, I also want to be really just honest and transparent that there is no magic number that you're trying to reach. I know it's really glamorized this six-figure-a-year photographer or this $100,000 a year as this big goal that all these photographers are trying to reach. And if it's your goal, I think that's great. I think that you should be working toward evolving and moving forward you know, every year in your business, but that might not be the magic number for you. And if it doesn't feel right, if it's like, you know what, it, that's maybe not what I want to do. That's not the energy that I want to put into my business. That is totally okay. But if right now you're just kind of saying, you know what, no, I don't want a six figure a year business. And it's because you just can't see how you're ever going to get there. Maybe you think, you know what, it would be really cool. But in the back of your mind, you're like, I'm just not sure how I can ever get there. And so you just keep telling yourself that you don't want to move forward that much. Well, that's another thing. That's another reason and something else that's going on with your mindset. Okay. So Let's start with that first piece of it that maybe you just really truly don't want a six-figure job and that's totally fine. Maybe you know the energy, maybe you know the time investment that it takes into growing a business and that's just not you right now. Maybe you've got lots of little kids at home. Maybe you are, you know, pregnant. Maybe you have another job. Maybe this is something you just want to do, you know, for fun and it's not something you necessarily want to do and grow into something that is that, you know huge of a business. That's totally okay. I don't want you to feel like you're pressured by the photography industry to always be raising your prices and grow your prices. If right now you are a business because for you, it's just something that is fun. That's more, not necessarily a hobby, but just maybe a hobby as a business. Does that make sense? That's totally okay. But What I find is that a lot of photographers are in that second camp that I was just talking about, where you tell people, or you even tell yourself, maybe you don't tell other people, but you tell yourself, you know what, I am. I don't need a six figure year job or, you know, that, that doesn't interest me much, but the reason you're saying it is because you just don't see it being possible for you. But let me tell you, it is so 100% possible for you. And I want to break it down like this for you, because I think when I break it down like this, especially when I talk to my students about this, that are part of my coaching program, it's like suddenly, you know, like a light bulb goes off and it's like, oh yeah, I can do this. So let me explain. Let me try to give you a good visual of how this could happen for you. Now, if you want to make $100,000 a year and you're charging what a lot of photographers charge at first between that 50 to 150 and we're going to we're going to make it the you know the the higher end of that initial scale at first well if you want to get to $100,000 a year you have to find 83 clients every single month Every month, find 83 clients who are going to pay you that $150 in order to get six figures a year. That's why it seems so far, so out of reach. That's hard to do, you guys, to find 83 people each and every month. Not only is that hard to do that, hard to find that many people to pay you, but it's going to totally burn you out. You're going to be working and shooting and editing and getting back to emails and getting back to client questions. And it's the, it's just a recipe for burnout. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Maybe some of you have done it. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever crossed someone who has, if you have, let me know. I'd love to actually interview you on the show if you've done that before, but it's a recipe for burnout. So when you stick to that small price point, it's easy to get caught up with, yeah, I, you know, thinking, yeah, I can't ever get to that hundred thousand dollar mark because it it really is, it really seems impossible. 
But if you choose to position yourself a little bit more premium, and when I say that, it doesn't mean that you have to be charging $5,000 a session for your portrait work. Let me give you another perspective on this right here, okay? Let's say you want to make 50K a year, $50,000 a year, which is a great salary still, right? Especially for your own business if you're making 50000 Well, if you were charging just a little bit over $400 a session, which I think is a reasonable amount, right? Especially a reasonable price hike if you're going from $150, you'd only have to find 10, 10 people every month. That sounds a lot better than 83, right? That's totally, totally doable to find 10 clients a month at just a little over $400 a session and you're at 50K. That, that sounds like you can make it happen, right? And so for all of my mathematicians out there, if you want to get to that $100,000 mark, well, you're going to have to charge about $800, a little over $800 at those 10 clients to make your 100K totally doable. 10 clients. If you're focusing in on, okay, how am I going to find 10 people, 10 people that want their picture taken. And if you have your price, if you have yourself priced correctly, priced in a more premium way than just saying, okay, it's $50 a session. And I'm saying that because that's what I charged. Okay. So I'm not trying to make you feel bad if that's what you're charging right now. Of course I did too, but I want to give you some perspective that you don't have to be this photographer that's a, a premium photographer that's charging five, six thousand dollars a session because that kind of seems way out of reach too. It most definitely can happen if you position yourself correctly, but it seems really far out of reach for a lot of photographers and kind of stops them in their their growth, their business growth. So I hope that some of these things I, I am saying today kind of resonated with you and are sticking with you and are starting to get those gears turning about doing a little math behind your business and thinking about, okay, what is the amount of money I would like to make? What's the amount of money I would like to make every month? And again, maybe for you, it isn't hundred K maybe it is 50 K, which again, I think is a great salary for a photographer. What price do you have to charge? What do you have to charge your each client? And how many clients do you think you can realistically find and shoot? Because there's work involved with each shoot, right? You have you have to go there. You have to scope out the location. You have to edit the photo. So how much time is that going to take you? You've got to really start thinking about that for yourself. So let's get into the next piece, which is, well, are you priced correctly right now? Or are you ready for a price hike? Are you ready to raise your prices? Well, if right now you're at that 50-ish dollar price point and you've listened to some of the, the math that I've put out there and you're like, yeah, you know what, this, this won't be sustainable. I won't be able to do this. Um, well, right there, you're ready for a price hike. You're also ready to increase your prices if you're starting to get so booked that you have to turn people away. So if you've got the problem of too many clients, and this happens a lot, I was actually just talking to one of my students who was telling me I was so booked during last quarter, I couldn't handle all of my clients. And right there, I said, you're not priced right. You've got to increase those prices. Uh, because you don't ever want to get to the point where you're feeling really burnt out. And it's okay if you get to that point where it's suddenly like, you know what, I'm turning people away. Like, give yourself a smile, give yourself a wink, because you're you're doing something right, right? You're getting there. People like the pictures you're taking, people like their experience with you. But now you've got to value your time. You've got to see, okay, how can I increase my profits without having to spend as much time? So if you're at the point right now where either one, you don't see how you're going to really truly make that profit or those goals that you want, or number two, you are getting a lot of clients, which is great, but you're getting too many. It means that your price too low. Oh, this was a lot in today's episode, right? I have a lot to share. Pricing, I get, I get excited about pricing and I want you to realize I guess at the end of this episode, I want you to realize that whatever price you have picked right now is okay. 
Okay. I don't want to pressure you. And I don't want you to be pressured into the super high premium price. If you're not ready for it right yet, or if you'd like to slowly move your way up to it, that's okay too. What I want you thinking about with today's episode is just really reassessing your business, your goals, and where you want to be at, because that's going to help you pick the best price for your business. And that's going to help you determine if you're priced right, if you're priced too high, or if you're priced too low. It's very, very individual to you. You've got to think that. All right, you guys, if you did resonate with today's episode, I would love to hear, please send me a DM over on Instagram and just let me know. Yeah, I listened or yes, thank you for, you know, this part of the episode that I really liked. I'm over on Instagram. It is really me that, that sees the messages over there. And my handle is at cozy clicks. So I would love for to, to hear from you. Even if you just want to say hi, that's cool too. All right. I will be back next week with a new episode of the Stay Focused podcast. But until then, here's to staying in focus in camera and with your goals. Bye, guys.